Hello everyone, how's it going? It's your friendly neighborhood infectious disease guy Rajiv Fernando here with another update on COVID-19. Uh, we had some unfortunate news this morning that our president tested positive for COVID-19. I'm told he's actually being moved to a hospital for further management to, for watchful observation. But let's talk about what is going on. And I mentioned this in my blog about two days ago about the evolution of what's called monoclonal antibodies. So first of all, let's piece this apart. Uh, you have two types of immunity. One is active immunity and the other is passive immunity. Active immunity is when you actually get infected. Let's say you get infected with COVID-19, your body produces its own antibodies against COVID-19. The other scenario is passive immunity. And in passive immunity, what we're doing is we are giving uh, the affected patient antibodies. So it's really genetically manufactured and we're giving the patient these kind of antibodies which can help uh, in preventing infection, uh, preventing severe disease. So where can this really be used? I really don't think I'd use it in a critical care patient at this point, but why, where this monoclonal antibodies can be used is in a situation where someone's diagnosed in the outpatient setting and you give this monoclonal antibody to prevent them from going to the severe disease. We do know, remember, day seven to day 10, that's when things can really turn around. So if you give this monoclonal antibodies early in the illness, you have a good chance of mitigating what we know about called the cytokine storm. So let's talk about this for a second. So I put this up in really quick time. Uh, let's take the basics, how a normal infection would happen. Uh, so this is your respiratory epithelium over here. You have a receptor over here, and this is called the ACE receptor. Now you see corona over here, corona, sun-like, of course, as you know. And it's got these spikes over here, which we've discussed earlier, which are called the spike proteins. So how does COVID-19 enter into the respiratory epithelium, thereby causing a pneumonia? It's really because of this spike protein binding to the receptor over here. You can see this uh, coronavirus over here binding to the uh, receptor over here, and that's how it causes disease. Look at this situation over here, where we actually inject what we call monoclonal antibodies right here. And this monoclonal antibody also binds to the spike, rece uh, spike receptor on coronavirus, taking it out of the equation. So that's how this works. I have a very good feeling. I'm actually convinced this is going to be uh, a drug that's gonna work. Moving forward to where we are with the president, does the president, how severe can his illness become? Uh, he has significant risk factors. For, first, for starters, he's 74. Uh, that's the first risk factor. The second one is, is his um, sex male, of course. And the last thing is, I'm not sure that it's formally diagnosed, but certainly obesity seems to be an issue over here. So the president has a higher risk of getting severe infection. That's important to know. So, But I think giving this these monoclonal antibodies early on in the disease, experimental therapy is really gonna help uh, him do much better. So very early days, stay tuned for more updates, and we'll go from there. Thank you.